Hello everyone, this is Matteo and today I'm going to try a new format. Since apparently you can listen to my voice for more than 5 minutes, I thought maybe together with my more in-depth content I could offer some comfy UI pills. Basically a very concentrated video about just one concept or one node. So I'd like to start from a node that is in my ComfyUI Essentials extension. Every time I see an important feature is missing from the core ComfyUI, I add it to the Essentials. There are always new features, so remember to upgrade the extension before continuing. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to document every node, but if you double click and hit plus, you'll get the full list and you can experiment with them. In the coming weeks, I'll try to do a better job with the documentation, but in the meantime, I wanted to talk about the variations K sampler. So I have this workflow that generates this kind of portraits. To get more options, I can change uh, the batch size, but I will get results that are very different from one another. Let's say I like the composition of the first one, but I want more options. There are many strategies we can follow to get uh, small variations, and I covered a lot of them in one of my previous videos. One option is to use noise injection. It's a bit complicated, but very effective. Let's see how it is done and then how my new node simplifies everything. I need two noisy latent image nodes. I repeat the first one four times with a repeat latent batch node, while for the second I set the batch size to four and change the seed. This way the first batch contains the same noise that will set the composition and the second has four different noise images that will create the small variations. Okay, now I need to merge the two batches with a slurp latent node, lower the factor to something like 0.1 and inject the noise in my empty latent. The strength parameter is not arbitrary, but it has to be calculated. To do that, I use a get sigma node. I set the same sampler and scheduler as my K sampler and the steps. I need to connect the node to the model pipeline and finally I convert the strength in the inject noise node to an input and connect it to the get sigma node. Okay, now the noise is generated and ready to be sent to an advanced K sampler. I need to disable the add noise option because we already have the noise and we set all the parameters as we selected them before. Finally, I connect all the pipelines, including, of course, the latent noise that we generated, and we are ready to preview the result. Now we have four images with the same composition, but different details. This is cool and all, but insanely complicated. So I decided to simplify the whole process with the variations with noise injection K-sampler. This node does all the heavy lifting for us, all we need to do is to connect the pipelines, add a preview and set the same K sampler parameters. I think we are good and I can generate. Okay, perfect. Now, if I want more variations between the images, I can increase the variation strength. And it's important to note that uh, the impact of the strength also depends on the checkpoint that you are using. Sometimes a value of 0.1 is well enough to make a lot of changes. Others, you need to increase the strength uh, quite a bit. Now, if I want a completely different composition, I can change the main seed. And if I want different variations over this image, I can change the variation seed. Of course, you don't need to generate four at the time. Let me grab a new empty latent node, connect it to the K sampler. And now I have only one result, but I can change the variation seed to get a slightly different image each time. This of course also works for image to image. Let me grab a load image node and select an image we just generated. I send the image to the latent and repeat it with repeat latent batch. I'm changing the seed just to be sure it's not the same I used for the original image and the variation strength to 0.15. 
And now I can generate small and big variations based on the original picture. I can of course decrease the, the noise to like 0.9 to get closer to the reference and change the variation seed to get more options. So behind the scene, this node applies a series of optimizations that make creating small changes a breeze. Of course, kudos to Blender Neko who came out with this idea in the first place. So now let me reduce the workflow to all that is actually needed. And that's it, easy as pie. Okay guys, this concludes my first comfy peel. Please let me know if you like this kind of shorter videos. As always, I try to explain how things actually work under the hood, but maybe this is a format that is more digestible. If there's interest, I'll keep doing this together with the basics and the more advanced stuff. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Ciao.